This trip is all about eco-friendly, that's why the shirt. Zero emission and electricity. Ladies and gentlemen, petrol heads, but most importantly, electro heads. With you, the 2018 second generation Nissan Leaf. Give me the jacket now. We are in Tenerife, specifically in the Institute of Technology and Renewal Energy for Nissan. On my left hand side you can see the first generation of the Nissan LEAF, whereas on my right hand side is the current generation they are introducing. It's the world best selling electric car, C segment, for five passengers. Till date, Nissan sold from the first generation. 300,000 units, which basically means all the LEAF drivers drove 3.9 billion kilometers. In terms of CO2, they saved 1.2 million. This second generation now looks, in our opinion, way better, whereas the first generation looks very electric. This second generation looks much more as a petrol car when, it not, when it's not because it's a fully electric and has a better range and it's packed with technology. I would like to introduce to you the second generation of the Nissan LEAF addressing three main enhancement pillars they've done versus its predecessor. First, it's what they name the intelligent power. Second pillar, intelligent drive. Third pillar, intelligent integration. When it comes for the, to the first pillar, which is intelligent power, this second generation of LEAF comes with a better battery, which is 40 kilowatts, with a range, a combined range of 270-ish kilometers. In addition to that, the LEAF can go from zero to 100 kilometers in 7.9 seconds, which is quite impressive for an electric car of this size. It has 150 horsepower that can deliver 320 newton meters of torque. Other very important element when it comes to electric cars, other than the range, is the time you need to spend charging the car. For the Leaf, you have three options. One, you can either connect it into your place in a regular socket, and from 0 to 100 will take you 21 hours. Now, if you want to use the public infrastructure, for example, you go to the mall and there's those charging stations, from 0 to 100% will take 7.5 hours. However, you can use the fast charging that, in, that it will take you from 0 to 80% in 40 minutes. So when it comes to intelligent driving, uh, what I would like to highlight are three main features. The ProPilot is one, which basically is an enhanced adaptive cruise control that the car automatically controls the steering wheel, the brakes and the speed. It's a hands-on system, so in all cases, if you're driving in the highway, you need to keep your hands on the steering wheel. The second one, and in my opinion, guys, is the most interesting one is the e-pedal. So remember we are driving a fully electric car. Uh, electric cars they regenerate while they are uh, braking or reducing the speed and this 2019 Leaf has the e-pedal which basically means you can drive the car using only the accelerator. If you press the accelerator of course the, the, the speed will, will increase but if you release your 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 fit from the accelerator, what happens, the cars slow down and it will regenerate. Then uh, the third feature this uh, intelligent driving uh, pillar has and I want to highlight is the pro parking. 
Basically what it means is that the 2018 leaf can bark uh, by itself when you identify a free slot. Something uh, which is very, very impressive is the quietness inside the cabin. Uh, I mean, the isolation is beautiful. Of course, you don't hear the sound of the engine, but they've done a very, very good job on, on the isolation front. Uh, Interior-wise, of course, it has everything that you can expect. A uh, multimedia system which sits under the third pillar, which is intelligent integration. So you can connect the Nissan Leaf with uh, Apple Car, Android Auto, and also the special app designed for the Leaf, where you can actually control remotely the, for example, the climate. You can also see the charging of the car and things like that. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest English and Arabic car reviews.